Today we're going to be discussing beauty trends and innovation across the world. I'm joined by Vivian Rudd, Director of Insight, Beauty and Personal Care at Mintel. Vivian is very kindly going to be telling us about the hottest consumer trends, product innovation and market developments moving between the East and the West. So Vivian, can you give us some examples of how beauty trends appear to be moving across the world? Well, Sarah, as you say, it's never been one-way traffic, but what we have been seeing in the last couple of years is that the trends are moving more from east to west rather than from west to east, and that's really due to the growing sophistication of the Asian market and increasing competition in all the markets. What other skincare concepts, including BB creams, are moving across continents? BB creams are the ones that have been really hitting the headlines and we've seen a 300% rise in launch numbers over the last year alone in the West, whereas in the East, where they actually grew up in the first place, launch numbers have remained relatively steady. But in terms of going from East to West, we're seeing more anti-glycation claims turning up in skincare. And in terms of going from East to West, we're seeing sheet masks really making an appearance in the West, but taking on very much Western luxury codes. Can you tell us about skin whitening products in the East and anti-aging products in the West? Sure. Skin whitening products in the East have become increasingly multifunctional, so the whitening isn't just the primary function anymore. It's combined with anti-aging claims. Whereas in the West, anti-aging still is very much at the fore, but with a brightening element. And the anti-aging claims that we're seeing mostly are anti-glycation, stem cell extracts, um, epidermal growth factor elements like that. This is a really brilliant example of how the trends are moving from east to west and back again. This is a whitening cream which contains snail extract. Snail extract we first saw crop up in Latin America and now launches are increasing in the east whereas they've dropped away in the west. Whitening products as we've said are really massive in the east and are becoming more multifunctional so this is whitening, it's anti-aging, it's firming, it does pretty much everything. And finally, can you tell us what are the latest developments in the hair care industry? Well, hair care is a really great example of where Eastern trends are moving West. So we have the traditional hair oils that are such a major factor of the Indian market, which have moved West in terms of luxury hair oils with fragrance that are popping up in France and the UK and other developed markets. And then at the same time, Eastern hair oils in Japan, say, are taking on the fragrance profiles that have been introduced by the luxury hair oils in the West. So here we've got an example of one of the luxury hair oils that's come in in the West. So it's from Kerastars, L'Oreal's premium salon brand. And it's a beautiful treatment oil that has a very sophisticated fragrance profile. And this sophisticated profile is what I was telling you that's cropping up in the Japanese market at the moment. Thank you, Vivian. And if you'd like to learn more about beauty trends, Vivian Rudd will be on the Innovation Zone and presenting at In Cosmetics Asia from the 6th to the 8th of November in Bangkok. Thank you.